Apart from fashion design, fabric embellishment, and things relating to that line of work, something else that I'm very passionate about is styling. I love preparing for events. And when I say preparing, in terms of putting outfits together, how I plan to look, what I plan to wear, and stuff like that. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing very affordable styling tips for people like me who love to look good when they're going out, when they have special events that they need to take pictures for and they don't want to spend too much money. You don't have money for stylists. You want to be your own stylist. This video is for you. If you'll be interested in hearing all about these affordable styling tips that are sure to have you looking scrumptious for your next event, please be sure to watch this video all the way through. Do not skip any parts. I'm going to be dropping the tea, okay? Also, be sure to hit the like button. That way, I know that you enjoyed watching today's video and I'll be sure to come up with similar videos to this one. Share this video with your friends, your friends that love to look good. Don't hesitate to drop your thoughts, questions, suggestions down in the comment section. All right, guys, before we jump straight into the affordable styling tips that I have for you all in today's video, if this is your first time seeing me, hello, my name is Fumi B. Olawori. I am a fashion enthusiast based in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I come on here weekly to share videos relating to fashion design, particularly fabric embellishment, styling, self-improvement, and a bunch of different things that I feel like you guys would love to see on here on the channel. If everything I just mentioned sounds like something that you love please be sure to hit the subscribe button become a part of us and remember to turn on the post notification that bell button make sure to click it so you'll be the first to know every single time i drop a new video styling okay so the first thing you want to do when it comes to styling yourself for an event and when i say an event it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going for a party an event could be okay a photo shoot a birthday photo shoot a family photo shoot for yourself and your spouse or yourself your spouse and your children or your child the first thing that you want to do is to choose a theme what theme do you guys want to go for are you going for Christmas are you going for black and white are you going for traditional oh I'm going for a party how do I want to look for that party basically you want to choose a theme oh I want to look casual I want to look corporate it all depends the theme of your look is up to you and what you're going for if you're going for a party for example and the celebrant already gave you a fabric from the fabric that you've received, you can tell, oh, this fabric is definitely an Ashwebi fabric and this is the type of styles that will go with this kind of fabric. It's up to you, basically. I'm not going to dwell too much on the theme. And when it comes to this topic of choosing a theme, if you are confused and you just have a lot of ideas, a good resource that I like to use is Pinterest. I like to typically go on Pinterest and look at themes, different types of outfits, how people put clothes together. And these themes will basically give me an idea on what I want to go for when it comes to the theme of my look or the look of me and the people that are involved in what I'm preparing for. Also, something else you can do is to scroll on Instagram. Instagram is a very fabulous resource when it comes to coming up with a theme. Going to a page like Bella Niger will help you basically see what is trending, see what people are wearing. And it will also help you just think of something, a place like Ashwebi Bella. You guys know a lot of all these blogs that, fashion blogs basically. It will help you just tailor your theme and come up with something fabulous for you and your personality. Cause I like to dress like myself. I don't like to dress. There are certain things that I wear, even you guys that watch me on this channel, there are certain things that I will wear on here that you just look and be like, ah, which kind of clothes is this one that Fumbi is wearing, right? I have a particular style to myself in my opinion. And you as an individual as well, I believe there's something that you like. There's a particular way you like to look. Go online to a fashion blog and just look at outfits that kind of tailor or just they fall into the category of the theme that you're going for and start to just save ideas. You have the save feature on a place like Instagram and even TikTok, Pinterest, you are able to save posts just to create a library of some sort for yourself. Now that you've come up with a theme, it's time to start stuff like choosing a fabric. If, for example, you are preparing for a party and you have your fabric already, when we are talking about the theme of your look, you are choosing the style that you want to sew with that fabric. In a situation where you don't have a fabric that you are working with, now that you have a theme, you determine, okay, do I have to buy a ready-made dress? Do I have to meet a tailor? Also, when coming up with theme, as an individual, you should have a tailor. 
in my opinion, every woman is supposed to have a trusted tailor that they know that, okay, when it's time for this type of outfit, this is my go-to person. And when I say tailor, most people don't like to call themselves tailor these days, fashion designer. You should have a fashion designer that comes to mind when it comes to different things. I personally, when I was in Nigeria, when it comes to buying ready-to-wear outfits, 90% of my ready-to-wear outfits were from Frida Cameo Style House. When it comes to bespoke outfits, I had people that I typically go to that sew my bespoke dresses for me, okay? So as an individual, you should be able to just come up with these things for yourself and determine what works for you also on this topic of outfit as well in a situation where you don't have a fabric that you're working with determine the color of the outfit and i've talked about color theory in a different video determine the color that you want to go for and make sure that you're choosing a color that suits your skin tone and the skin tone of the people that will probably be in the picture with you if it's a family picture make sure that it's a color that will look nice on you look nice on your partner your kids and just tie it together nicely. Also, when it comes to makeup, what kind of makeup do you want to do? Do you want to do a loud makeup? Do you want to do a simple makeup, simple everyday makeup? Do you want to go the matte direction, a hydrating makeup? Just determine how you want to look. And with makeup as well, I personally think that every lady should know how to do their makeup, no matter how basic it is. You need to know how to put powder on your face, put some lip gloss, some eyeliner, some blush, and look beautiful, okay? You don't have to be a professional makeup artist, but you should be able to make yourself look more beautiful i'm not here to talk about the general take on makeup and everything i personally love makeup i love to appreciate makeup on other women like myself okay so yeah let's just know how to make ourselves look good because you also don't want to spend money on a makeup artist right you're trying to cut cost and look fabulous okay so let's just make sure that we are still staying on theme the next thing you want to also decide is your accessories what type of accessories do you want to use and when i'm talking about accessories i'm talking about if you're a ring girly if you like to wear rings what types of rings are you going to wear what type of necklace earrings and all the other types of jewelry that you think you would love to wear determine those types do you want to go golden do you want to go silver do you want to go bronze whatever type rose gold okay whatever type of jewelry you want to wear you also want to determine your scent okay i know when it comes to taking pictures you nobody can smell you through the picture but if you look nice you should also do your best to smell nice okay determine what the scent of the day is I personally, in this season of my life, I'm in my Arabian perfume era. I am a Latafa girly to the core. I'm also into Arabian oud. All the Arabian perfumes, basically, I am following them back to back. I currently have some in my stash. Let me just show you guys. My sister-in-law put me onto this one, this Honor and Glory by Latafa, and I like it. It's pretty strong, okay? So I only use very little when I'm using it. And I layer it with some of my other perfumes. I also have this Teriyak, okay? A lot of people have different thoughts and opinions about this particular Teriyak. There's a new Teriyak Intense that everybody's raving about. I don't have that one. I have this first Latafa Teriyak and I like it personally. I personally do not have a problem with it. And my favorite currently is Eclair by Latafa. This particular one, it was Lucy Benson on YouTube on here that put me on. I always go with her suggestion when it comes to perfumes and she has been talking about this particular perfume and she's not wrong. I love, love, love this Eclair perfume. Like it smells fabulous. It smells so good. So you, when styling yourself, make sure that you choose what scent you want to go for. These Arabian perfumes are affordable in my opinion you don't break the bank when buying them and they smell fabulous they smell really really good so determine how you want to smell do you want to go the niche perfume direction do you want to go the arabic perfume direction do you want to go chanel all the other you know all the perfumes that are raining now okay so determine for yourself what type of perfume you want to go for the next thing you want to also determine is your hair okay make sure that your hair is on fleek your dress you can't dress nicely smell nicely do your makeup nicely and your hair is a mess it's not giving okay so determine how you want your hair to look do you want to wear a wig do you want to pack your natural hair on this channel you guys already know the tea i love a good ponytail i'm a ponytail girly to the core i recently started entering into my wig bag because i recently became a mom for those that are just seeing me for the first time i had my daughter four months ago and i do not have time to combi hair okay i have to be quick 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 for everything so i've recently entered into my wig bag and i am loving it for myself postpartum hair loss has come for me my front hair is in shambles but we are working on fixing it okay so if you want to wear a wig for your big event determine what type of wig you want to wear if you want to pack your natural hair and when i say pack your natural hair if your hair is 
pretty thick you can decide okay you don't want to add any extension if your hair is not so thick and not so long determine oh what type of ponytail do you want to attach to it do you want it to be a puff do you want it to be a sleek um straight type of ponytail just determine how you want your hair to look and do that for yourself and when it comes to youtube one fantastic thing apart from being a creator on youtube something else that i like as a viewer on youtube is the amount of tutorials that you get on this platform take advantage of youtube oh i don't know how to pack my hair type it on your youtube search bar how to pack a ponytail how to style my hair in a ponytail you will see a lot of tutorials how to cornrow even you will see it on youtube how to style a wig is on here on youtube okay so there shouldn't be an excuse of oh i just don't know how to pack my hair watch a tutorial watch one or two three five tutorials and learn how to pack your hair in a very beautiful way i trust the ladies that are subscribed to my channel we are all smart women and i'm sure we'll be able to pull this off really really nicely now that we are done with the theme we already determined how we want our dress to look or the outfit jumpsuit whatever it is that you want to wear you've determined how you want it to look how your makeup is going to look how your hair is going to look how your accessories everything is going to look how you're going to be smelling another thing that you want to focus on when styling yourself is your skin you can't wear a nice dress be smelling good and everything and your skin is not giving i am a believer in whatever skin god has blessed you with try your best to manage this nicely and bring out the beauty in it even more okay our body is a temple of god okay so when it comes to your skin you shouldn't be looking crusty dusty and musty all in the name of oh i just don't have the time oh i'm just not a girly girl no that's not an excuse make sure that with your skin you are taking very good care of it and when it comes to taking good care of your skin take your bath frequently once or twice a day depending on what your jam is make sure that you are taking care of your skin use your lotion use your body oil body butter depending on what climate you are in because i live in a cold country i make sure to layer my products very very well because in this place it's very easy to look ashy if you don't take your moisturization routine very seriously so i use a body lotion a body butter and a body oil three things i layer on my skin to give me fabulous results so for your big events even without let's forget about big event or no big events now or styling or no styling make sure that your skin always looks good with your facial skincare routine as well with your face i feel like for most of us our face is always a problem area for a good number of people that i know like ladies like myself i know that most of us struggle with our facial you know our skin on our face basically so make sure that you are working on it don't just leave your skin carelessly okay your skin is very very important so make sure to do your best to make sure that your skin always always looks good i am not a professional when it comes to skincare i'm also learning i only know the things that work for me and my skin type i don't i won't come on here and start giving advice because i am not qualified to give that advice go on channels like eniola olajide on here that's the person that i'm subscribed to and i follow a lot of her recommendations on here on youtube she shares you know valuable information on our channel watch people like that learn from them and determine what works for yourself and i feel like with skincare as well sometimes try and error i personally do a lot of trial and error with my you know skin i try products oh someone recommended this i try it if i like it i stick with it if i don't like it i do away with it and you know try something else and then the moment i see what works for me i stick to it i don't jump around unnecessarily except i have certain skin issues that i'm trying to tackle and fix okay after working on your skin something else that i feel is very very important personally is working on your smile okay make sure that your teeth is in good condition apart from your daily brushing using your mouthwash flossing and all of that make sure that you schedule routine dental appointments where you go for your typical scaling and polishing your whitening if that's your jam if you know that oh, whitening is aesthetics and is cosmetic in your opinion you're not interested that's fine but make sure that you are scheduling regular scaling and polishing and taking off all those unnecessary you know stuff in your teeth and make sure that your smile is beautiful i am not saying go get a cosmetic procedure done on your teeth if you don't need it or a professional procedure it doesn't have to be cosmetic right i'm not saying go get braces or get veneers or any of those types of things i'm just saying make sure that your smile is beautiful the next thing you also want to work on when it comes to preparing yourself to look fabulous for an event or an occasion whatever it is is to make sure that your photography and videography aspect 
aspect of things is on check me personally and i'm talking based off of my own preferences if i look beautiful i like to capture those moments i like to make videos of myself i like to take pictures of myself because i enjoy looking back on moments and just being like oh my gosh this picture is so nice oh look at me on this day look at how fabulous i look even with my daughter now like i was going through my phone the other day and i'm like it looks like i need to get a hard drive for abigail's pictures like i love to capture moments every time i dress her up in an outfit i take a picture make a video of her just for the purpose of just keeping it for memory's sake okay so if you're also like that make sure that your photography videography is on check i'm not saying go get a professional photographer if you can afford it if it's within your budget feel free to go off but if it's not get your phone get your camera if you have one take a picture of yourself make a video of yourself and just have it share it on instagram if that's your jam keep it for yourself if you're if you not interested in sharing something else you want to also determine when styling yourself for an occasion is state of your mind particularly if you are a celebrant i remember when i look back at my wedding i was so nervous pre and during the wedding actually i couldn't wait for it to be over because a lot of things were just pulling my attention here and there sometimes when i look back at my picture from my wedding i'm like ah i wish i know what i know now now, I would have done a lot of things differently when it comes to my wedding okay so this is for my sisters out there maybe you're not yet married if you're preparing for your wedding make sure that your mind is in a good place don't allow anybody mess your energy up and make your pictures look ugly okay particularly when it comes to wedding because sometimes like I said before when I look back at my wedding day so many things that I want to change but it's done right i can't go back to it okay so make sure that your mind is in a good place surround yourself with very positive set of people that will keep you pumped excited in a good mood to make sure that your pictures and everything look fabulous okay i hope you guys found this affordable styling tips very useful this is just something that i really really like i love looking good guys i love 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 looking good and i feel like this part of myself i don't bring it on here on youtube enough so that was why i thought to just share this video with you particularly if you are on a budget and you're preparing for a special occasion your birthday your wedding your anniversary whatever it is guys christmas even if you're preparing for christmas for you and your spouse or you and your you know significant other your kids and all of that these styling tips is sure to have you looking absolutely fabulous in those christmas pictures and festive season pictures okay everything i just said here is what i will take into consideration when preparing for our christmas photo shoots in this particular household if you found this video very very interesting if you enjoyed watching please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up as usual subscribe to this channel if you're yet to subscribe we are on our way to 100,000 subscribers and i can't wait to have you as one of my first 100k subscribers on here on youtube be sure to share the video with anybody that you think will enjoy watching feel free to drop your thoughts questions suggestions down in the comment section and yeah friends i can't wait to see you all in another fabulous video very very soon bye